Hello everyone, hope you're having a fantastic day, and welcome to Stars in the Trash. Uh, probably best if I just read from the Game Store uh, page so you understand what the game is about. So it says, tired of feeling trapped at home, Mocha, the spoil a spoiled cat, decides to run away from... It uh, decides to run away and seek adventure. His journey takes an unexpected turn when the kennelman threatens the streets. Mocha ne needs to learn how to survive and appreciate what he left behind before he's going to lose his best friend and everything he had. So, about the game, it's like an animated game. As it says, do you want to know if the game is for you? Did you ever want to experience life as a cat? Not me per se, but are you into handmade animated movie classics? Maybe a lot of you are. Do you like to engage in emotional stories, and do you like short games that are around three to five hours of gameplay? And are you ready for intuitive, manage man intuitive manageable challenges? This is just the demo, so it won't be the three to five hours, but it looked like an interesting, like, hand-animated, you know, like, old 1990s ca cartoon, if anything. So, it looked interesting, thought to give it a go, and let's g just do that. Like, look at this animation already. It's pretty impressive, just like idle. Let's see. <laughs> Angrily attack the dog. Goes from just I am calm to yeah. Hmm. Let's see. We have the jump. We have stealth. Look at the stealthy cat. What, what is that? You want me to tip over this vase? No. Maybe not yet. Eat that bird. I will eat that bird if it's the last thing I do. Cats. That's why I don't, don't want to own cats. They do things like that. <laughs> Cat doing math. Get to kibble. Mm -hmm. Strategy, knock over the pot. Don't jump from there, though. Need more math. Hmm. Maybe. And then what, knock that down to? Alright. Put the plan into motion. First, knock down the pot. Knock down that. Anything else I can knock over? Cats, fugadoohy, steak, potatoes, milk, eggs, and bread. Anything else for me to knock over, though? And off you go. Kibble for me. Let's hope it's not coffee beans. Wait. I want to jump down. How do I drop, I wonder? I'm so used to, like, platforming where I'd hit the down arrow and then hit jump and I'd drop. I'm guessing they want me to possibly jump rather this way. Ah. No! The cat is angry. He wanted the kibble. I mean, I, I tipped over a vase, a pot of food, I ruined the human's dinner, and then I shattered the container holding the cat food. This cat is uh, living, I guess, the good and abused, or not abused, the good and spoiled life. There we go, we'll tag the toilet paper, just like any cat would. All you cat furries out there will definitely get a kick out of this, I'm sure. I'm gonna knock down uh, this. Can't knock over the toothbrushes. Yeah. Can't knock over the towels, so we're just gonna, I guess, Climb this vent. I have no idea what that kid's doing. I think he's really excited for those toothbrushes. Wait, what? X. Yeah, kid, let me out. 
I have to sneak, make sure the human doesn't grab me and do annoying things. Also, why, why do the cubes say wake up? Hmm. Am I actually just dreaming this whole thing? Wait. Oh. See little floaties of the cat hair, it looks like. But well, looks like we can't go anywhere else, so. Oh. And I was grabbed by something else. Is that the cat's friend? Or is that a different dog? Ah! Oh. Huh? Yeah, and. Uh, and. Tearing up the, the couch quite heavily. That's not, that's not good. That's not good at all. These, these humans like their cat too much. Um, I'll just hope that this room is completely devoted to them and this is a discarded couch that they don't care what happens to it. But even then, man. They, they have a... They have a picture framed of them bathing their cat? That may be a little bit obsessive in my opinion, but... Uh, okay. Like, the, the, the cat being bathed is a lot higher resolution in importance and priority to the humans than their own baby in a in, in a stroller. You have to keep that in mind, all right? With these with these parents, they prioritize the cat. Oh my god. Ugh. They prior. Okay, can I? Like I had. I think if I jump up here, I do have to jump this way in order to get back down. Hmm. What is this? Is that a is that a gem? Is that a mineral? What are you doing? What are you whining about? You, you want that toy? Is some kind of evil thing going on? What, what do you want? Why is the C button? You, you want me to pick it up? It's not working. What's with the evil menacing music? Well, I'll, since the dog's happy, we can... What's going on here? Where are the humans, by the way? I've ruined their meal. And the kid. Kid seems all alone. Is there an abductor around here? Is that the evil vacuum cleaner? Eat that vacuum! Oh god! Tab! Wait, what? Tab is for dodge rolling? Oh jeez. Uh, tab. I can roll over- okay. Never! How dare you! Alright, I think it's his health is on his head. This vacuum will not get me. That's what you get. Hmm. So the whole point of that was so I could smash this potted plant? Is that my objective? Oh, knock it on his head. Yeah. Excellent. We defeated the evil vacuum. Oh, it's part of the cat's imagination, I see. Well, I have defeated the vacuum cleaner.
with the evil done. Oh. Stop, dog! What the hell's wrong with you? I gave you your toy. Maybe I meant to sneak. It's October the 7th now. Maybe the uh, things just progressed. Where are the humans at? Oh, the, the dog's outside? Come on, why am I not allowed to go outside? This Everything keeps stalling me. Okay, finally. Finally I can go outside. A stray cat. Don't worry, dog. I'll beat him up and show him who's boss. Almost got ran over, but... A bunch of sheep on the outskirts of a city. Thank you for playing. Consider Wishlist. We hope you enjoyed this short demo of Stars in the Trash. There's a lot we want to add and improve on, so we'd like to kindly ask you for your support along the way. Wishlisting the game on Steam helps us get more visibility on the store and send you a notification when the game finally launches. Also, join our Discord and hang out with us. And other cat lovers. I'm not a cat lover. I am a dog kind of guy. I grew up with a black lab. Oh, nice. A large doggo, and he was very special. He was a really good boy. We got him from a pound, and I only remember, for at least for dog, he, I, he was like alive for maybe 15, 16 years. 13 to 16 years. And I remember him, I guess, ever since I was like 3, 4, 5 years old and onward. No, yeah, he's a good boy. So I'm, I'm more of a dog person. You cat lovers out there, may, maybe it'll be more up your alley. But, an interesting... Yeah. Getting tongue tied here. A uh, interesting, definitely fluid, really highly animated game. It reminds me, of course, of like things like um, Cuphead series or things like that, where require really nice, smooth animations. And who knows, just if it'll get even smoother and more clean later in the full game. Not sure, but there's definitely a lot of promise and something that people that are familiar with animation definitely would some uh, probably be really familiar or not familiar. What am I thinking? Jeez. <laughs> People that are huge for animations and love fluid animations and cartoons in that nature probably will adore this, is what I was trying to say. But then I got tongue-tied and my brain kind of fried and uh, the rest is history. But, hey, if you enjoyed and look forward to this game, yeah, do consider a wish list. The store page will be in the description below for ease of access, so you'll be able to click just the expand on the description and click the Steam Store page link. So you'd be able to get there and wishlist it if it looks like it's right up your alley. But, let me know how you thought, and if you have any feedback or anything like that, please leave a comment, and please hit that subscribe button. Become a subscriber too. But if you enjoyed, please leave a like, comment, everything I just said, and until the next time. Rawr.